Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. We can continue our study on the mystery of iniquity. Amen. And we're looking at how the Holy Bible says in James 4.17 To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is son. Amen. Around the world everyone knows those that have read the Bible, those that have studied the Bible, Bible scholars, uh, people that learn to uh, study the Bible in, re in religious studies, they know about the Ten Commandments. Amen. And you find around the world people have broken the Ten Commandments. Amen. You find in places like like America, they've taken the Holy Bible out of the public schools. They've stopped prayer in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ. In the United Nations, they do not allow prayer in the name of the Lord. You are not allowed to mention the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, lest certain religious groups feel offended. Amen. People have reached a stage where they've gone off on a tangent of political correctness instead of Bible correctness. Amen. And yet the Holy Bible declares, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. Just one word that Eve added to the word of God in Genesis chapter 3, when she says, uh, spoke of touching the tree. Friend, God had said nothing about touching the tree in, uh, in, in Genesis 2.17. God had said nothing about touching it. Amen. In Genesis 2.17, God said, uh, God said, Amen. Uh, Genesis 2.17, praise the Lord, Amen. You want to read the exact words, Amen. God said, But of the tree of knowledge, of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Amen. Notice how in the garden of Eden, Satan, came into the garden of Eden, amen, to corrupt the mind of Eve, to corrupt Eve's mind from believing the word of God, amen. And what happened with Eve, amen, she, she, she added to the word of God, and the Bible says don't add or subtract to the word of God, amen. Amen. 